This is Hack Manchester 2017 and got with me a solo solo team today. Indeed. Yeah. And uh, excellent. Uh, let's let's see who see who he is and what he's up to. What's your name? Uh, my name is Zen. Yeah. And uh, what are you up to, Zen? Uh, I'm building an app which will recognize human emotion, judging by your picture over a period of time. It will uh, be able to work out if you're happy or not, and then put you in touch with people who other people who are of, of a slightly different uh, emotion sure. and essentially bring it together. So if you're feeling a bit lonely... And, and you're so um, you said this was called faces.ai? Is that correct. the website you're going for? Uh, well, I'm hoping that website's not taken. I've not <laughs> checked, but I suspect it probably is taken. But It'll so. be faces something? Yes. Yeah. So, and, uh, and the challenge that you're doing, that sounds like the... Um, is that the co-op challenge that you're going for? Or? Yes. So um, it's, it's actually two challenges. It could be GCHQ and the co-op. So co-op is a, a, probably the natural choice. But also, if, you know, we detect that you feel really sad or something, we could uh, notify the emergency services. Yeah, yeah. Which, uh, if someone's having a bit of a crisis. So absolutely, yeah. yeah. yeah so. And so why are people going to... Uh, sorry if this is a trick question. Why are people going to pull up your app, which can see their uh, which can see their face? Or is it running in the background all the time? Or how, how does this work? Yeah, that, that, that aspect of it, I haven't really worked out. So you could potentially just be a library which sort of is looking at your image all the time. I mean, we'll need some permissions from the Android API because sure. so you can't just have a camera running all the time. But, uh, um, yeah, how actually people use it is, I haven't worked out that bit. Sure. This sounds like a, a good application for, you know, the new um, iPhone 10, which uh, scans your face all the time and the shape of your face and stuff like that. You could, uh, yeah. Uh, I don't know if Apple would let you get that data from the face scan in camera or not, I don't know. But. Absolutely. So this is the thing, as the machines are becoming a lot more powerful, we're going to have access to a lot more sensors. Yeah. And hopefully we could actually get like a unique facial signature rather than just rely on an image because obviously ambience will affect the image. Um, and then what we, we could get a better idea, like if you're in some kind of distress, your body temperature is going to change. Or, yeah. And then we could sort of work out the location of where you are, what day it is, what time it is. And if your temperature is a little off, then we can phone up the police on your behalf and say, hey, look, maybe you need some <laughs> Maybe you need some help. <laughs> Excellent. Okay. And what are you building this in then? Have you got anything working so far? I haven't. I don't think it's working. I mean, there's loads of red dots there. <laughs> So, <laughs> okay, you get lots of error codes. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, but it's, this is uh, just going to be uh, focused on Android at this stage. Sure, sure. And what are you using to build this? Android, Android Studio? Android Studio, yeah. Yeah. And uh, yes, yeah, so what's been your biggest challenge so far then? Uh, coming up with an idea. Uh, I just decided to sign up a couple of days ago, uh, so I didn't have an idea. I just came here, had a look at the challenges. Uh, the vibe here is really cool, so I just thought, okay, I'll give it a go and stuff. And yeah, this good. is the first thing that came into my mind. So yeah. I'll I'll give it 24 hours and see where we are. Sure, sure. And yes, yeah, so your biggest challenge going forward is it going to just get this um, this facial recognition software kind of thing running? Yeah, I think so. Um, there's a lot of uh, really complicated stuff to do in the background. Trying to actually detect. I mean, the ambience is obviously going to be a really big issue because. Sure. And so, what do you mean by that? Is that just like the different lighting conditions and everything? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I think the different lighting conditions, the quality of the camera, could affect that. Uh, maybe the the sun could potentially affect this, like if there's too much sun in your face, it probably won't be able to detect the emotion properly. Sure. And then on the back of that, I need to then detect, are you smiling or are you looking unhappy? So that trying to detect the facial expression. Sure, that sounds good. Oh well, it looks like you've got a lot to work on. Huh? Uh, uh, you're going to keep you busy for the next 20 hours, I think. I think so. I don't know, what, what hour are we on now? 6.45. 6.45, yeah. I can't even work that out in my head now. Where, what so, so that's, that's uh, uh, about 18, four, 19, four and a half. Almost five hours in. Yeah. Yeah. So you've got 20 hours left. Then. Yeah, something like that. So it's 25 hours for 24 hour hacking. Yes. Okay. Uh, anyway, thank you very much for talking to me, Zane. Cool. I'll, uh, I'll catch up with you later. Thank, thank you very much. You. See ya.